my name is Tamara Chambers, and this is Tamara Just Saw. And today, I went and saw Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. I think, I think that's the title. There's a lot of words there. Ralph Breaks the Internet. Four words? Are we kidding? I guess I'm mostly so unsure about the name of this film because I didn't see the first one. <laughs> yes, that's right! Come one, come all. Mock the girl who never saw Wreck-It Ralph that was critically acclaimed and was so good, apparently, and I still haven't seen it. What did I watch this week for, for Tamara's Never Seen that I, I should have just watched this instead? What, what was it? <sighs> oh, yeah. I forgot. I went into this film skeptical because I don't enjoy movies that bring in the internet to its story. I was talking with a lot of friends over the last few weeks about this. Actually, I was on a, a film set and we were speaking a lot about kind of things that we don't enjoy, film tropes that we don't enjoy. And that is like my big one that I just, I think it dates it immediately. As if you're talking about, not that Emoji Movie was ever gonna be anything other than garbage, but Emoji Movie completely dated itself immediately when it's like, oh, we're on Twitter now. And oh, we're on Snapchat now. And it's like these things that like, who knows, in two years it might be gone. I just, even seeing it now when it's, those things are thriving, it still feels so dated somehow to me. I always hate it when it's done in horror. I think it, it's usually not done well with the exception of probably only Black Mirror. I just, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> so I went into this being like, well, this is a sequel where I haven't seen the first, my fault, but also where they incorporate breaking the internet into the title. So I wasn't, completely on board, was not completely looking forward to this. And I think I cried like six times because it was so good. It's that time of year, right? Where it's that sweet spot in between Halloween and New Year where you just want to take in really lovely, lovely content and you want to cry and get the feels as the kids say. I cannot recommend this movie enough. I still stand by what I said earlier, that I don't love the internet aspect. I think they did the best take on it I've seen other again, other than Black Mirror. Also, I really desperately want to cosplay now as Vanellope. Such a cool character, especially in the all princess scenes where they're all like these beautiful damsels in distress. Not really. It's another thing I'll get to, but she's surrounded by all these beautiful ball gown princesses and she's singing about Slaughterhouse the game or Slaughter something the game. And I just loved her. She's a weirdo and kind of an outcast and I love it. I'm all about that. I would love to cosplay as her. Give me a wig with some sprinkles on it and we, we're in business. My first three notes are Ralph 2, didn't see it, don't like internet movies, but I cried at How to Train Your Dragon Hidden World trailer, so yeah, good lord. Also, am I the only one who thinks Dumbo looks, and then I drew flames for fire, like, like lit, like good, um, but it looks like a crown because I can't draw anything. Moving on. Oh, okay, one thing. The movie starts off and the producer, the writer, and the director are all sitting there in chairs. And they're like, thanks for coming to our movie. And this takes so many people are on our team. Blah, blah, blah. And I always find that super weird. They did that for Incredibles too. I, I didn't mind it as much in Incredibles 2 because it was like, oh, we've been taking a long time for this, so here's the voice cast. Like, here's the cast of it, like, saying, thanks for waiting, thanks for loving us. This was, like, three people that we don't know at all. I don't know, it felt, it felt weird. It's not my favorite because they were, like, attempting some comedy. It wasn't even terrible comedy. It's just, it's just, like, a little out of place. It's, I guess it's just, it's change. It's something that I've not seen very much of before, and I don't, love it. Basically, the gist of the film is that the game that Vanellope is in, in the arcade that they live in, has broken. And instead of getting it fixed, they're just gonna scrap the game. So she is going to die, essentially, or not have a home. Because it's kind of her and Ralph's fault that this happens, Ralph decides they're going to go into the internet, which is a new thing for their arcade, the Wi-Fi, or the Wi-Fi, as they call it, and they're going to go to eBay, or eBoy, as he calls it, and they're going to bid on the controls that they need to fix the game. So they do that, they bid way too much because they don't realize they're bidding with money, they think they're just trying to outdo the number before them. It's really cute. And then it's a race to find like something like $27,000 to buy this controller for her racing game. So to do that, they have to go into the internet and there is a lot of things happening here. <laughs> There's Snapchat, Fandango, Google, 
eBay, IMDb, Amazon, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Another thing that's not YouTube but is like the competitor of YouTube in this world specifically. I feel like this is the most traffic that eBay has had in years, honestly. I used to love eBay. I've not been on it in a long time. Like I said, that kind of makes it feel dated to me. To be like, oh my god, this like, whole thing like is kind of surrounded by eBay is weird, especially because I feel like the kids that they're marketing to especially don't know what eBay is, or they know what it is, but they haven't personally been on it before, and there's a lot of like eBay inside jokes. So I just, seeing that was a little, it's a little out of place, but again, they did it in such a good way. There were not many moments where I felt like, oh my gosh, you're really pushing this brand on me, versus like you're using it to tell the story, which is like the opposite of what the Emoji Movie did. This just made me, think of the Emoji Movie a lot because they're very similar things, like they're in the internet. It was nice that this was done in a good way and in a beautiful way that made me cry like six times. Also Miranda Sings is in this movie. I was like so many references in my notes. There's like a lot of things being referenced and so if any misstep had happened with the writing or the directing or the, the animation it would have really been cheesy but thankfully it was great. A lot of things lead up to this, but Ralph eventually goes viral with a video and he finds out that he can make money by making viral videos. So he makes a ton of videos, a ton of things that I watch regularly on YouTube, but it was on this other partner site, not YouTube, it's like their competitor, so not par partner site. He has to gain enough hearts to make enough money. He has to make $27,000 in like eight hours, <laughs> which is a hilarious thought. <laughs> for someone who's like on YouTube trying to make some money at it for sure and and knowing like how much you make that's a lot of views Ralph that's a lot of views you got to get there buddy it also it comes like 30 days later <laughs> on this alternate site it's like transfer funds now <laughs> I was like okay well it's a good thing they didn't put it on YouTube then because that would have been extremely unrealistic I wrote it's so well done but it's weird it's just weird to see this movie take place on the internet I think I know the internet has been around long enough for us to talk about it in film. It just, it feels a little weird, you know what I mean? Is that just me? I don't know. Movies are so easily ruined by the internet, I feel like. It was really, really well done, but I still just have that in the back of my brain, just being like, oh my god, this is about the internet. <sighs> then you get into the Disney area, and that was mwah, amazing. There was Marvel characters, there were stormtroopers following her, there was a just incredible cameo that I don't want to give away, but just it made me smile, it made me cry, already crying. <laughs> I really loved the Disney princess part. I thought the contrast that Vanellope had with the other princesses was really great, and I thought that they were all captured really great. Also, the princesses come back at the end, and one of the lines is so funny. One of the princesses yells out, oh my gosh, a big helpless man to save. And they run out and save him. Because the whole thing was that like, you know, everyone thinks that they're saved by, by big men. It's cute. It was really cute. It was like subtle. It wasn't like pushing it down your throat. It was really well done. I wrote, oh no. Ralph goes into the comment section. Then I cried. <laughs> it was really well handled and it wasn't a huge part of the movie. I think it would have been really cheesy if it was a giant thing for making you super insecure to go into the comment section and it was just like a, it was just touched upon in a nice enough way it was like really sweet i felt terrible for him be nice so the breaking of the internet happens like the title tells us it will and there's some conflicts in their relationship as friends and it's all resolved in such a nice way in such a way that's like okay i did this really bad thing and i am so truly sorry for it it wasn't just like pushed over. I just watched Son of the Mask and <laughs> every conflict was fixed by the, the lead character Tim Avery being like, I'm sorry, I'm the worst. And then everyone was like, yeah, cool, you're all, it's all fine. This was like true, true, true apologies, truly incredible writing. Oh, I loved this movie, you guys. So well done. Heartwarming, honest, funny, cute, 10 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. If there's ever any movies that you desperately want me to see for Tamara Just Saw, I'm always like going in between one or two that, that are coming out that week. And so it's always really nice to hear from people like on Twitter, uh, if there's one that you specifically want to see, let me know there. Tamara L. Chambers, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!